What up, family? I don't know what the fuck is wrong with the flash on my camera, but it won't light up. But fuck it. I'm just going to go on with some shit I need to say. So, first things first. All these motherfuckers out here trying to be Child's Play Ninja. Stop! Stop! You're not CPN. CPN is CPN. Just stop. With that being said. <clears throat> so. All this shit. ICP versus Twisted. Blah, 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 blah. I finally just have gotten to the point where I need to say some shit. Some people aren't going to like it. Some people might not have, you know, did, well, however you view me, I that's that's fine with me. But I'm going to be straight up honest about what I think. You know, all the shit with Young Wicked and Samantha and everything, That I get it that that was none of our business, that it was personal, that it shouldn't have been up on our faces. And, and to a point, that's absolutely right. That's their personal lives. That has nothing to do with us. That shouldn't have fucking come to light in the first place. But here's the thing. That brought to light all the other bullshit. All the things going back and forth. All the things being said. So let, let's start first things first. Two-hour interview. Violent J, as usual talked through most of it. Shaggy had some things to say when it came to his new album and, and uh, you know, some things that he had to say about the way Jay, Jay felt about things. And, you know, but as normal, it was Jay talking for the most part. Two fucking hours. Two hours of spilling his guts. Of saying exactly what the fuck was on his mind. Of just putting everything out in the open about how he felt about things. I'm going to tell you something. There are so many Twizzlers out there that say, oh, that was all a lie. That was, he was just making shit up. Blah, 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 blah. This man was almost in fucking tears at two points in that interview. Almost broke down. Was hurt. Was genuinely hurt by all of the things he talked about. You could, you could hear it in his voice. You could see it in his mannerisms. You could see it in the way he acted. And what do we get back from Twisted in response? Now, albeit I'm like, you know, maybe, maybe there was some exaggeration. Maybe things were blown out of proportion. Cool, whatever. Then we come back to Twisted, who needs to say something. What do they do? See... In the ICP interview, we weren't talking to Violent J. We were talking to Joe Bruce. We were listening to Joe Bruce talk. We were listening to Joseph Bruce spill his guts about the things that had gone on with his family. Spill his guts about the things that had gone on with his business. Spill his guts about the artists that he brought up from, from day one. That he brought on the label, that he made sure... Like he said... That, and I, that people can deny it all they want, but for a long fucking time, you didn't see ICP without Twisted. Pictures, videos, didn't matter. Didn't matter if they had nothing to do with the song. Didn't matter if they were involved with making it. They were there. The Amazing Jekyll Brothers, all over the fucking promotional stuff for that. All over it. There was Twisted, right next to ICP. And Twisted's gonna act like well, they held us down and everything else. But they come out into this fucking video that's not even three minutes long. They bitch and complain about how it's all psychopathic's fault and they kept them under their thumb and they're not going to be strong-armed into doing anything. Nobody's strong-arming you into trying to support the people who fucking made you who you are. And then to come out of all fucking things, of all things to say, that the Juggalo March is just a fucking publicity stunt for ICP. Bitch, they're not the ones that still need to fucking build themselves up. They've been doing this for fucking 20 plus years. They're set. 
They have survived everything and still have brought through this fucking amazing world we are a part of. Albeit torn in fucking half at this point. But still, they built this shit. Did Twisted help? Absolutely they did. Absolutely they did. But with our support. And to come into that fucking video as Twisted, not breaking character, not speaking in a way that was straightforward, fucking still being their characters, not being Jamie and Paul, being Monoxide and fucking Madrox, and, and not talking from the heart. They fucking came out with these funny cuts, these fucked up, weird, funny looking cuts from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, whatever the fuck that was supposed to be. Shot it in this spooky horror fucking grainy film. You gonna come out in character and still act like those people you act like on stage? We've seen you be Jamie and Paul and talk eloquently and about things and speak on, on a level that was not being twisted, that was just being yourselves. So I know you got it in you. And people call that a response. People call that a response. Are you fucking kidding me? So now you've got... And, and this is what makes me the saddest and what hurts the worst. Now it's no longer everybody's a juggalo. Now it's broken down. Now it's Twizzlers is the new name for... I don't even know it's a new name. It's just something I heard lately. Uh, for people that are diehard fucking Twisted fans, that's, that's all they're into now is Twisted. That they're backing up M&E, that they're backing up Twisted. And you got Juggalos. And then, now, here's here's the kicker of this. And, and I'm going to get right to my point, finally. They don't want to do the march. They say, you know, march. If you want to march, march. If you don't, don't. Um, knowing that the march is about the way people have been treated, about being labeled as a gang, and how it has affected Juggalos on our level. Not how it's affected ICP. Not how it's affected Twisted. How it's affected everyday Juggalos that go about their life being part of this community. That's what the march is about. Well, we're not going to be strong-armed into doing anything. And we're not... We were doing this and that. And we're... You know, you're not going to be involved. Okay, cool. The first fucking line on your brand new album on your brand new album that you just brought out after all this shit you said after everything that's been said and done the hypocrisy of the first fucking line on your new album being about being labeled a juggalo gang member and how you can't keep a job because of that and everything else. Are you fucking serious? Are you kidding me? Well, we're not going to support you and we're not going to march and we're not going to be part of that because it's all publicity. Oh, I can't get a fucking job because I'm a gang member juggalo. What? I, my fucking mind was blown. When those were the first words to come out of your fucking mouths on this album. You've got to be shitting me. So, at this point... Just like in my last video, I'm heartbroken over this shit. But at this point, I'm more angry than anything. It, the, the condescending attitude. The fucking absolute blatant hypocrisy of that... That very first song on a brand new album, after saying we're not going to attend something that is in support of Juggalos, that we're not going to be a part of that, are you shitting me? The first thing you do is come out on your new album talking about exactly what the fucking march is about. I... My mind is fucking blown. I just... I, I can't even. I don't... What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 
I, I am just beside myself with this bullshit. You know, and I'm one of the jugglers that I know I'm not going to be able to make it to Washington, D.C. to march, but I know what it's about, and if I could be there, I absolutely would in defense of all this to support it. You have the opportunity to be there, and you want to fucking blow it off, and then you want to come back at at us with music that says something like that. You, that's some bipolar, crazy ass shit. That that's all the more I can say. This new album, it's not. I'm I. There are a couple songs that I was like, you know, this is okay. But it's not what I expected. But that, that very first line on that very first song, that is the part that just... That's like it left a fucking bad taste in my mouth, and I think it tainted the rest of the fucking album for me. I don't know. All I could think to myself is, are you shitting me? The whole fucking time. I had to go back and keep thinking to myself, did he really just fucking say this? after acting so fucking stupid about not wanting to march and everything else and the things he acted and said, the ways he acted and the things he said about it on the on their little response, quote-unquote. Uh, just fucking mind-blowing. Absolutely fucking mind-blowing. But yeah, back to the beginning of the video. None of you motherfuckers are CPN. Stop trying to act like it. Be yourselves. You want to make videos, you want to talk, you want to do things. There are a lot of you out there that make absolute fucking wonderful content. I don't know why you think you got to be somebody else. And by the way, much love to Carnival Spirits. Much love to Juggalo a Day. You guys are keeping it real. I know I'm part of Carnival Spirits, but I ain't, you know, I ain't been posting a lot. I ain't been doing a lot. I've been trying to take part in the every Saturday afternoons. You know, and as long as they'll have me, I'll remain there just kind of being part of it. And that that's just that's part of why I love this community and part of why I love being a juggalo because that kind of thing right there. So, you know, much love to Juggalo Day, much love to Carnival Spirits. I fucking hate you, CPN, of course, always. You know, because that's cool. But yeah. Get involved, man. Fucking get involved. And don't be a hypocrite. Peace. Much family love.